For animal, you can still make the holiday season a little brighter for shelter animals. Molly Reels at Front Street Animal Shelter making a few new furry friends. Good morning to you there, Molly. Hi. Good morning and say hello to Mary. Look at this oh, sweetheart. Mary. Is that not the sweetest face you've ever seen? Hi, Mary. Oh. What an appropriate name just in time for Christmas. Now, as you said, you know, not everyone is able to adopt a dog this holiday season or a cat, but Friend Street Animal Shelter is, uh, you know, making it easier for people who can't do that uh, to make the season a little bit brighter for those animals. So what they're doing, they have lined, uh, we have some video I'll show you of some of the other doggos here. They have lined these kennels with stockings. <laughs> You're hungry, Mary. Uh, and asking for people to bring in treats, maybe some toys, uh, and help out these dogs. So this is Ryan. Tell us a little bit about your call for stuffing the stockings here at Front Street. Yeah, so we just wanted to give people a, a way to help, give the animals some uh, yummy snacks, and also just uh, help get the word out and get people in and maybe uh, trick them into leaving with a friend <laughs> exactly. on accident. Exactly, because <laughs> as soon as you see a face like Mary's, you might not be able to leave without her. Isn't that right? And it's so easy to do. I mean, I was at the pet store the other day getting food for my own dog, and, you know, there's just little treats like this that you can pick up. Oh, she likes this. She's going to go brag to her, her to her little mate. Uh, so tell me a little bit about Mary. You think she's about two years old? Yeah, we think she's about two years old. She came in at the beginning of the month. She's a little shy. I think that's probably what's held her back. But um, she's been great with other dogs, like in kennel and stuff. And um, she'd be uh, she warms up really quickly. It's just shelter's a very scary place. So. Yeah, we were talking about that. And um, hi, sweet girl. You know, sometimes it really shows what fostering a dog can do because uh, she's she's a dog that the shelter scares her a little bit. But maybe in a home she'll thrive because just in the five minutes I've been around her, she's really really warmed up. Yeah, no, it makes all the difference. Shelter is probably the worst possible environment for a dog in, in every way. So yeah. get them out of there and they're totally different. Yeah, I know you guys do your best, but it's there's no place like home, is there, especially during the holidays. Uh, so if people are able to bring home a dog or a cat during the holidays right now, uh, a lot of opportunities. One, you're waiving all adoption fees through Christmas Eve. That's right. And all animals come uh, fixed, uh, fully vaccinated and microchipped. Okay. And then there's an opportunity to foster as well. Maybe you can't be the forever home, but you can be a home for a few nights. Yeah, this Thursday and Friday, we're going to do a, uh, an emergency foster event uh, for over the holidays. So if you can foster, especially a large dog, for at least a couple weeks, um, that would mean so much to make space in our shelter and also give an animal a nice, warm, loving home um, during the holidays. Oh, sweet girl. And if the very least you can do is bring in a few treats, you can help stuff these stockings and, again, make the holidays a little bit brighter. I mean, look at Mary. She is just really loving these treats, aren't you, Mary? But you know what? I think there's one of you watching at home who's looking at Mary and saying, hey, that's my girl. That's my girl. That's my girl, huh? <laughs> I will send it back to you. I know. I just love her. But she lots, is lots so of animals here who could sweet. use a loving home. Just so sweet. She's, She's so, so sweet. sweet. And Mary's yeah. sweet oh. as well. Oh. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Molly. <laughs> uh, let's get it over to Tina and find out what's happening.